On a raw winter's day in Chatham, even the seagulls are in search of a better view. Think of Chatham in winter this way. The crowds are gone, the traffic is gone, the rates are down, and the sharks are gone. Although you are probably still not going in the water. Even on a dreary day, there are many ways here to lift the spirits. Brighten your day considerably at Expressions Gallery on Main Street, where the photography of Stephen Koppel jumps off the frame. Oftentimes there is, I feel like, a conversation between the light and the water and the patterns in the sand. Sometimes the waves are crashing with, with power and beauty. Sometimes it's very calm. Sometimes there's fog that is being lifted as the sun is rising. And so as each of those moments happen, you know, it starts to, I, I feel it inside me. Conveying those feelings, expressing them to the viewer is the goal of this former business consultant turned photographer. While dealing with family medical issues, Steve found solace on the Brewster Flats. And part of what I always talk about in the gallery is this idea of arriving empty of expectations, but leaving filled with gratitude. I always feel gratification just from the experience of having been out there. And that's what I love to share with gallery visitors. The flats are his canvas. Often visitors ask if his works are paintings or photographs. He sees it as a compliment and an entree to a conversation about self-expression, what the artist sees and what he captures. That's why I talk about myself being a witness first and a photographer second. It's all about my connection to these places where I feel such deep love, such passion. So this is what I love to do, and it's a relationship that I have with the Capes Waters and, and Tidal Flats that really, I think, comes out in the imagery that I create. Another pop of color can be found across the street at Chatham's Orpheum Theater. Opened in 1915, it showed movies until the mid-80s, when chain theaters and multiplexes forced it out of business, replaced by a CVS. But when CVS left, a community group rallied to bring the old Orpheum back, raising the money to reopen the doors in July of 2013. It was really important that the theater reflect the community in which it serves. As we refurbished it and as we re-renovated it, it was important to keep the historical aspects of it that we could. An impressive mural of Hollywood history, painted by local artist Hans de Castellane, greets visitors. Space has been leased to a bar and pizza restaurant. And in a true Hollywood ending, people have come. People have most definitely come. Kevin McLean is the Orpheum's executive director. So it makes you proud when your community's proud of your theater. The theater is used for educational and children's programming, for local fundraisers and gatherings. In short, it has met the goals of its rebirth. To create something for the community that they would cherish for generations to come. Generations are also enjoying Hangar B, the renowned breakfast and lunch spot at the Chatham Airport, where Tracy Shields and her team have been serving up mouth-watering and eye-catching food since 2010. It took a little bit to sort of change people's expectations, like you walk into an airport and you're kind of expecting like a greasy spoon, and instead you're faced with sort of, at least I hope, a more interesting menu. They can serve more than 300 people on a summer day, but winter offers a slower pace, and the philosophy never changes. Attention to detail and intentionality about the food, whether it's Eggs Benedict, a breakfast sandwich, or those homemade donuts. With our potato buttermilk donuts, we serve our homemade jams. If you can make it, and you can make it better than what you can buy, you should be making it. I love that whenever we come here, it's going to be fresh, delicious food that I don't feel like weighs me down. And I feel healthy after I eat here. I feel like I'm in a local kitchen. Can't be that. You come in here, you know, watch the planes come in and out, watch the snow fall, and get some really, really good food. Hey, how are you? And as with all year-round residents and businesses in Chatham, Everything at the elbow of the Cape revolves around one familiar beacon. It's the sense of community. It's the family of the staff, you know, like that have been here for years. So it's 
building this relationship with people and, and then in turn with the customer base as well. Oh, and Hangar B gives back to the community mm -hmm. by providing dinners for local families that are dealing with food insecurity. And we touched on the community programs at the Orpham Theater as well. They also offer free movies to children during the summer, every morning during the summer. They also do that during school vacation week, so if you're down there next week, <laughs> that works. And Steve Koppel over at Expressions Gallery, he donates 20% of all gallery proceeds uh, to an environmental group to protect the Cape's natural resources. Everybody involved in that community. That's wonderful. Coming up, retail therapy at any hour.